I want to give a big shout out to Ace It Man, the PlayStation Legion, and all my other subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, you guys really did a good thing yesterday while I was at work. You made sure this information about backwards compatibility got out. Um, got out so much that everybody else started talking about it. They went in and looked at the information. They got the truth out yesterday. They got the truth out. That's what is really, really important. Not only that, uh, the vice president of Xbox and Windows Gaming could not ignore this. He had to fucking acknowledge it. You know, that's big shit right there. So everybody that helped get this information out across the internet yesterday, uh, thank you. You did a big thing yesterday and, and I gotta say that this is what I like to do on YouTube I would like to get the information out and I like when you guys get even more information out we can't allow people to say stupid shit and ignore the facts and these are the facts Microsoft's bragging about Xbox 360 backwards compatibility games but in reality the Xbox One owners are actually just playing a lot more of their Xbox One games if they released more exclusives like PlayStation, they would be better off. But they're not doing it. Example. Spider-Man PS4 got confirmed by Insomniac Games today. Uh, it will be at E3 next week. So that's going to be great. Uh, we also got a confirmation um, that the newest fighting game is called uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia. Um, the game started on the PSP years and years ago. It will be exclusive. This is uh, the box art. It's not final art, but it does have the only on PlayStation logo. Uh, we're going to go through some of the pictures real quick here together. Um, what they did uh, was they were using a PS4 architecture in the Japanese arcades uh, last year and I believe the year before um, to test out the popularity of the game uh, because, of course, it was on the PSP and it was, uh, you know, it was a hidden gem. It's actually a good fighting game. I played the first one, and um, they have all types of Final Fantasy characters from all the different Final Fantasy games, um, and it's it's a really, really awesome experience. You know, you got Lightning there, not one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters, um, but, you know, you got a lot of other characters here. There you go, my boy Cloud. Um, so this is running on the newest, um, I believe, Unreal Engine. Um, it's it's running on a very, very high engine, um, uh, like, gameplay wise and all of that so probably only going to be on playstation and due to the fact that most of the characters in this game um like are stem from final fantasy playstation exclusives uh that never went to xbox there's no chance in hell that this game would go to xbox um it just would be weird <clears throat> so um i'm going to be using this banner i don't know when but this is a badass banner uh but if you go uh, to Dual Shockers, as you guys know, I come here a lot. Uh, if you go to Dual Shockers, you can come and read all the information, look at the new trailer, as well as take a peek at these uh, pictures. Um, but I'm excited that we have another exclusive in our belt. Uh, this game is going to be coming out early 2018 uh, for North America and Europe. Um, and then um, Jeff Keighley was talking about... <coughs> excuse me. Um, he was talking about... Um, the E3 Coliseum 2017 and pulled out a couple names. Uh, he, uh, this is where we got the confirmation that Spider-Man was going to be there. Uh, then he also said God of War and, and then Hindo Kojima is going to be there. So uh, maybe some more talk about Death Stranding. Uh, so it's a lot of stuff. Uh, here's the full, you know, the full plan. It seems like the first day they're going to have God of War uh, behind the curtain. Um, then they're going to have Inside Bungie, so that's probably going to be some Destiny 2 type shit. Um, and, uh, it's, it's going to be, um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of shit going on, as you can see. Like, a lot of stuff. So, if you want some E3 coverage this year, um, E3 Coliseum 2017 will be your best bet for all types of gaming related news. Um, so I'm going to keep my eye on that. I'm also going to keep my eye on the PlayStation, um, conference experience. Uh, so, you know, it's a lot, it's just a lot, it's a lot of news already breaking today, and it's just, what, Wednesday? So, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, look forward to some news, and, um, if you don't know, sorry, it comes at the end of this, um, on Sunday is Microsoft's conference, so, we will have a podcast normally on Saturday 
at 1 p.m. We're not going to stop that, but we are going to have another podcast Sunday after Microsoft's conference. Uh, so um, it will probably clash with the time that uh, the NBA finals start, and I really don't like that. Uh, but that's when we're going to do our podcast so we can talk about what Microsoft has done. Um, if you guys don't want the podcast to be on um, Sunday night, uh, we can reschedule it for uh, Monday morning um, or Monday evening before micro- uh, before Sony goes on stage. Uh, but, you know, if, if nobody has any um, objections, we'll just do it on Sunday after the conference uh but thank you guys for watching this video make sure you get those links out um they're all in the descriptions below see you guys later